Well, I unpackaged it enough to start charging it, um, but I'll do an official unboxing video soon. It is today at 2.36, a little earlier today, and uh, it's a whopping 10 degrees outside, but considering we had set a high of 7, I'm happy with that. Um, what the fuck is on my window? I don't know if you, yeah, we'll pick it up. It's like fucking pop or something. Anyways, a bunch of it there. I don't know what happened. How that got there? It wasn't me. I swear. <laughs> it couldn't have been me. It, it, it must have been the kitty or the kid, the, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on this episode of Ghetto Hill Billy One, uh, I, I got an addiction now. It's called junk running. Uh, uh, I can't seem to stop. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I can't stop junk running. I just, I keep finding more junk. It's good. It's not even junk. All the time. Sometimes. But not all the time. And there's a puppy dog. A puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. You want to go outside? You don't want out there, do you? You can open doors. Oh, it's not a lever, is it? There you go. Oh, that must hurt the nose. That must hurt the nose. <laughs> I need my keys. My garage is locked. So yeah, I've been junk running even more, guys. Uh, hard on the junk lately, that's for sure. So, if I showed some of the other stuff before, I don't think I got this stuff, but if I did, sorry, but if I didn't, here's what it is. So, we'll start off with an old beat-off snow shovel. Nothing special, and it looks half rotten, but it's good. It's not broken. It's not cracked. I'll take it. As far as I'm concerned, any snow shovel that I don't have to spend another $15 on is a good idea. I got a nice uh, Stanley Mat Fat Max uh, tool for box, as you can see there. It's got that stupid angled measuring thing, I guess, for holding boards and cutting them. I think that's more of a carpentry toolbox, to be honest. I don't know what's that thing is on the end, something to beat upon, I guess. But uh, I just got it because it was a good toolbox. It is decent quality, and it's not broken. It's actually in really good shape, so... Uh, I'm not going to get rid of it, obviously. Uh, i got the milk crate underneath of it. Or not milk crate, but fish box. Uh, I don't know if you... Well, you guys probably don't have fish boxes where you're from, but they're really common around here. Uh, obviously, they use them for fish. And I use them for a hell of a lot of other things, because I don't fish. I got a wheelbarrow, uh, which is actually good, because if you ever saw my other wheelbarrow, you'd say, you need a wheelbarrow. Tire's flat. Notice there's a little rust hole in the front there, but... That's nothing. That could actually be easily fixed. But the main frame of the wheelbarrow seems to be solid enough. What the fuck is that dog doing? <laughs> you break dancing, Bubby? You break dancing? That's why I just saw a fly, but that was just a fly flying off him. Here he goes again. No. You itchy? You got an itch? You got an itch? Scratch that itch. Uh oh, here he comes. <laughs> He's done that when eating leaves now. He's all excited eating leaves. Anyways, back to the story at hand here. A uh, bunch of uh, chicken wire and an old tote. Didn't really realize until I threw the tote on the truck. It's actually in really rough shape, and that's why I grabbed it. But you can always use old chicken wire, too. Uh, a vinyl window, uh, another one, which is good because I need a few of these for my camp. Just never noticed. Might be it is too. That's actually a sideways window. I figured that was an up and down slider. So it looks kinda like an up and down slider. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not important. I'll I'll use this as an, as an up and down window because well that's what well maybe I won't because it's actually it's meant to have the sill on the bottom. Oh well. Worry about that after. Yeah, what about these guys? These guys are like that. These guys, well this one here has got a little issue. This little strip is broke off. There's a 
to finish the job. There. Nice straight cut. <laughs> or break. Um, some other stuff I got. Uh, a little hard hat with a mask for saw. I think I showed you the toe strap and the shovel already. There's a big old box of nails here. Let's see if I can show you. Ow! See, I got this big old box of random nails. Most of them look new, but there are some used ones in there. I really don't care. They're free. I like free. I hate paying for shit like that. I'm cheap. Couple nuts and bolts. Nothing major. I just grabbed them because they were there, mostly. Uh, more solar lights. There's a few rolling around inside the truck here. They're actually decent quality, but uh, they're old and they're beat off. Uh, a full sheet of OSB cut into two, so two half sheets. A steel snow shovel, which in my opinion are invaluable because they don't make these ones anymore. And these steel snow shovels you can chip ice with, which is like a eh, light fixture, you know, nothing special. Another bunch of nails, I think. Yeah, nails. A six or a nine. I, part of my dress has a nine in it, so I thought, hey, good idea. I forgot about these, I should grab before they get fucked. Some safety googles that you can see through. Um, what else? Bungee cord. More fucking nails. Another thingy do, but this one's kind of fucked. Oh, it's been cut through, that's what's wrong with it. Oh well, that thing fucky's kind of fucked. Some of this white fucking spray paint, which is totally useless. As you may know, white spray paint is useless. Very. Burr! It is cold, guys. It is fucking cold. Went to a shop here and I'll show you some more. So, uh, you could call me, uh, the, uh, not future shop, but past shop. Because <laughs> I've been collecting so many old damn speakers. These, uh, I don't know exactly what they are. Digital Fidelity Acoustics, DFAs. Dumb fucking assholes. M1200 three way speaker. There you go. 150 watts. Recommended 90, but uh, 150 watts. Not bad. They're in okay shape. Uh, not quite as good as my techniques. I think I showed you guys already. If I didn't, I'll show you in a minute. Um, they're a little scraped up, but uh, they're not in too bad a shape. The surrounds are good and whatnot, so that's good. Oh yeah, the hillbilly packing now. I didn't tell you guys, I bought some rifles. Well, I found some rifles in the garbage, actually. Does this look like a rifle to you? If it does, you... You might not have had a childhood like me. This is an old daisy gun, an old pop gun. Let's see if I can do it. we a fucking slick way here. Oh, ow! See, I'm holding it like this. Ow! Oh, that really hurts. It spring-loaded itself back into my hand. I'm trying to do it all slick like Arnie off a of fucking Terminator or something though. He didn't have a gun like this. But, pow. <laughs> That's it. Now this other one, well this thing, this is a 357 fucking slide barrel now. And bolt action. As you know, that's not the case. Come in, puppy. Come in. Come in, puppy dog. Good boy. He's a smart dog. He's a smart dog. He opens up the door himself. Yes, he doesn't need any help. He can open up this door. But yeah, some old craftsman, or craftsman, uh, what the fuck are these things called again? Well, this one's a, a pump master. 760 or 60, the screwy thing. Pump master, a pallet BB repeater. It does have a safety. It's got that weird bolt action. You load your pellets up here. Your BB's down in here. You pump her up. You pull that thing and it goes bang. And if you put something in it, it will actually shoot it. I thought this was, yeah, it's a Crossman. That's what I was thinking, Craftsman, but Crossman. It's a Crossman air gun. Which, you know, they're one of the best generic brands you're going to get of these things. And these old guns are actually really good. I had one. Or I don't know if I actually had one of these types exactly or not. I had a couple of the pistol flash. Whatever's, but uh, I thought that was the dog whining. The goddamn door. All right, so what else did I get? So I got some 
I'm so, really sorry if I showed you guys this before. I don't think I did. I think I only showed you my first run. If I did, I'm sorry. Sometimes I do repeat myself. I try not to, but it happens. Uh, I got this nice shovel handle, another steel snow shovel. As you can see, two plastic what? Oh, excuse me. With broken uh, plastic shovel heads, which I just take off and use the handles because they're good, hand good hardwood handles. LED rope light. It does work. I tested it. Um, don't know what I'll use it for, but I got it. This air hose, it's shit. Um, it's got a hole in it. I didn't realize it when I grabbed it, but there's been a most gnawing on it. But, at the same time, that's easily fixed with a couple hose clamps and a piece of uh, copper pipe. So. No biggie. Um, let's see, as you can see down in here, we got all kinds of odds and subs. We got gear oil, we got fucking raid, we got belt dressing, we got premium glass cleaner, brand new trailer light. Still in the package. Brand new trailer light. Still in the package. Bearing that's not there. Brand new gas cap. Still in the package. Uh, tailgate latch for something. Brand new retainers. Automotive retainers. That's actually handy because I don't have any. Another set of OK thingies. Uh, highball hitch. What the fuck are these? Reducer, a reducer, I guess they so put the smaller balls, you know, slide around, more thing. Another brand new trailer light, and another one though that's not in the package. Another brand new trailer light in the package. Uh, a bunch of garbage, some chrome, old turtle wax chrome polish. Spray gun, or sprayer, which was nice to have. Some old Motomaster dry and go. Peroxide. Well, what do you use that for? Brand new lenses, one in the package, and a bunch of other little odds and sods in there, as you can see. Oh, spark plug socket, forgot about that. That's the bigger one, though, and a smaller one. Uh, another hitch lock for my, for my hitch, actually, which I also got that at this same place. That's the hitch that they had there for me. Well, I don't think it was for me, but they were throwing it out, so I took it. I got this. It's actually broken here, but I did have another one of these that I broke right, like, right here. So, I might be able to salvage that. Um, let's see. Oh, grinder. I haven't even tried it. Uh, it was wet, so I'm going to let it sit. All right, uh, so I'm kind of lost of where I was in my video because... My battery died, and by the time I charged back up, I forgot what I was saying. Um, but I should know I showed you some of this stuff. I think I ended with grinder. Like I said, it doesn't, uh, I'm not sure if it works or not. I haven't used it yet. Um, it was out in the rain, but I think it will work. Got some LED rope light there, if I didn't mention that. An old steel snow shovel. Plastic ones for the handles. Uh, that hitch over there. Uh, let's see, what do we got in this box? Some wire, a bearing, some kind of screwdriver jig. Oh, I don't want to bend down right now because it's making me feel really spinny. I don't know why, but I'm feeling really odd right now. Sometimes I have dizzy days and dizzy times where I just, I, I don't know why, but I, I'm a little off kilter and I don't feel right and I get kind of dizzy. I don't know, it's like an inner ear thing, I guess, probably, but uh, it's annoying to say the least. Um, but it's happened to me ever since I can remember. Even when I was a little kid, I'd wake up some mornings and it was just a little off all day. But uh, there's one of them cold heat guns or soldering things. They don't work worth shit, but it's all there. I'll try it sometime just for the hell of it. There's something else below it. Just I think that's just a plastic box. Ah, uh, whoa. I'm doing a little too far. I got hitch balls for that uh, hitch over there. Some metal shears, another pin for the hitches, a uh, wire brush, uh, a couple hydraulic fittings, something else in that bag, I can't remember what stuff. I got a four ton bottle jack, which is kind of sweet. I think I showed you the winch. It's a worn winch, but it's all fucked up. And, uh, yeah, it's got a good cable, but it's busted in half. There's a bunch of more trailer light in there. I don't know if you can see it. Looks a little washed out. 
a video. A uh, bunch of rubber grommets, washers, and shape. This is some kind of actual winch after cable. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the controller for the winch because I'd like to have one of those, but uh, whatever. Another trailer light there. And I got this bar, one of the bars, you know, for doing whatever you want to do with them. I don't know what their, you know, usual use is, something like drywall or something. But, uh, whatever. It, you know, price is right. Got this cutter. Set old cutters there. I don't know if I've showed you those either. Uh, I'm going to have to put a bolt or two in them, but uh, they look like some nice heavy-duty old cutters. Garbage computer. Sorry if I'm a little jittery. <coughs> like I said, whoa! I'm a little off kilter right now, so uh, a little balance is off a little and such. Uh, I got these gas cans. I gotta go through them. One of them's broke. I think I threw that one out though. But, you know, it wasn't a huge crazy haul. Oh well, I think I said these speakers here, and I got them speakers last time. Some nice old techniques. I got lots of stuff here that I got to go through, that's for sure. I got this old first aid kit, but that's gross because it's got soap, so it's no good. Another brand new fucking walking pin for a trailer hitch. But yeah, I got lots of stuff. So, uh, all in all, it was definitely good junker. Oh, right, and I didn't mention this. Uh, got this snowblower here. I think the engine, you know, might need a small tune up. Crank does. Not too too bad. <laughs> Don't usually see the crank from the outside, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this snowblower here and uh, combine it with the other one. Hopefully, I'll do some video of that. The front end gear on this one is so much better. There's not you know near as much slop. I think that gearbox has been replaced. If you look in the back, there's still a sticker on that auger. I think this thing was blown up young and just sat around for a long time, which is perfect. <laughs> Because my lawn tractor or snowblower suffers the opposite problem where uh, somebody had abused the auger section and uh, forever to the point where the motor ended up dying from I think overuse and then it was replaced with a newer motor and now it just the motor's great but the rest of it is just shite so I'll combine the two of them and I will make something good but other anyways guys I gotta go it's lunchtime I got some hot dogs to cooking I like hot dogs don't I I eat them a lot <laughs> quick <coughs> oh my they're quick and easy but uh, I'll give you some updates as I go with some more of this stuff some of this junk that uh, once I get stuff sorted out and, you know show you I probably missed a few other things I don't know but uh, you'll see it I might even get another junk run in here someday but uh, I'm pretty much done that till uh, spring I think unfortunately anyways till next time peace out gonna go Billy one